Excited to be back. We're already working through our uh, exercise and rehabilitation program to kind of get our earth legs back. Um, we were lucky that we uh, we worked out pretty hard on Space Station, and I think we've both uh, done pretty well up to this point. Um, we're also lucky in the fact that we landed in some pretty smooth waters, thanks to the weather folks. It's great to see how excited uh, everybody was uh, for our, our mission and followed along, and, and we hope it brings a little bit of brightness to a pretty tough 2020. As we descended through the atmosphere, the, uh, the thrusters were firing almost continuously, and I think uh, just the sound that that makes. I, I did record some audio of it, but uh, it doesn't sound like a machine. It sounds like an animal coming through the atmosphere with all that, uh, all the, the puffs that are happening from the, uh, the thrusters and, and the atmospheric noise. It uh, just continues to uh, gain magnitude as you, as you descend down through the atmosphere, and I think we both really, really noticed that aspect of things. When the time came to splash down, I think we were watching the altimeter, which is a GPS altimeter, so it's not super accurate everywhere that you're located. And so we got to uh, a below zero for our altitude on that indicator, which was a, a little bit surprising. And then we, we felt the splash and we saw it splash up over the windows. It was just a, a, a great relief, I think, for both of us at that point. You know, the, the re-entry is is a fairly dynamic event and you can see from you know just an overall view of the capsule that uh, re-entry is a, a pretty demanding environment you know with the different uh, scorches on the vehicle and the windows were were not spared any of that uh, you know, the look out the windows you, you could basically tell that it was daylight but very little else so we didn't really see anything clearly out the windows until the, uh, the SpaceX recovery crews got uh, near us with the fast boats and then we could see a head or two out the window but yeah i had absolutely no awareness of the the other flotilla that was out there until we were uh, back on board uh, go searcher and in the uh, medical facility